What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to show some footage of Pimtech punching up against Emma Rodders in Alliance War. I was very surprised when I saw this footage. My buddy Dunamax sent this to me, the guy who sent me footage of Pimtech the other day. So big thank you to him. This is the team he went up against. They're in bridge. He has security debuffs. It's about a 20k punch up without the room buffs added in. So you can have like another 10, 20k on top of that with these room buffs. I mean, the defense down on Pimtech. That's a big problem, but he managed to do it. And I'm going to walk you guys through what he did in this fight so you guys can see it. So you guys can check this out for yourself. Also, I remember Duratic made a video about how they can punch up against Emirators and Blitz. One of the big questions was, will that translate over to war? And from what I can see here, the answer to that is yes, it will definitely translate over to war. Uh, so it's going to be curious to see what else they can punch up against. But yeah, here's the power of the Emirators team. You can see a tier 14, 128k power on Mr. Sinister here. The Strife is a little bit weaker. It's a tier 12 Strife, only 85k power. Emma is also only like tier 12 and 82k power. So not the strongest Emeralders team that you're going to be fighting against, but that tier 14 Sinister, that's a big deal. That's what you see a lot of people do is drop tier 14 on Sinister, at least for the team. So that is going to kind of change up how he goes for this. And basically what he's going to do, he's going to end up focusing on Mr. Sinister and using Skirmisher with... Yellow Jacket and Ant-Man to kind of strip away buffs from Strife and keep him under control. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty impressive fight. His Pimtech team, I didn't realize how heavily he had wailed out on this Pimtech team. Uh, 442k power. He really did go all out on this Pimtech team. I was uh, I was surprised when I saw that. Uh, yeah, he's got tier 14 on Yellow Jacket, Ghost, and Stature. And yeah, he did show me some DD3 footage, which again, we'll go over another day, but... He sent me this this last night and he's like hey you gotta check this out and i was like oh yeah this uh this definitely is a good team or definitely a good fight so yeah here we go so skirmisher on uh on both yellow jacket and ant-man and you're going to use that because of their assist and using that to keep strife under control constantly stripping buffs away from him and again this is why i kind of think that if you have a stronger strife i'm not sure this will work but because he's able to constantly strip buffs away from strife dispel taunt and all those buffs it works out pretty well for him, and then he uses that chance to go after Mr. Sinister, but here's his positioning with Stature on the far side, and followed by Ant-Man, then Wasp, then Ghost, then Yellow Jacket on the far side, and you're going to see Yellow Jacket still a bit squishy, and he's going to get picked on quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So, let, let's just go into it. Yeah, Striker on Ghost for the turn meter removal, and then Raider on Wasp, because that's just the best one to go for for her. <clears throat> So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be pretty impressive. So I mean, you're gonna start out, and I mean, they're basically the Marauders team is just gonna go crazy, and not much you can do about that. Uh, we can see that we lost go or we, we took goes down below half health there, but that defense downs are really hurting this. I think without the defense down, this will be a little bit more manageable. It can be kind of risky, and this is the big problem with Pimtech is that you have to worry about them kind of. Kind of being pretty squishy and the defense down does not help but we do have this we have the evade now on ghost so anytime that she evades now she's going to gain bonus health or she's going to heal back health which is very helpful here though for some reason with the uh with the uh with the slow from or the speed down from emma she evades it but she doesn't gain bonus health but that's just one of the mechanics here so you have to deal with deal with that and then we're just going to kind of go after strife here didn't use a taunt on stature that's a big deal don't use a taunt on stature because you don't want people focusing her down you just want to kind of keep her alive because you want her to get to her ultimate so that she can give the bonus energy with it to all the pim tech but then we're going to use the basic attack here with ghost against strife and because he has the marked on him or the vulnerable on him it's going to be a follow-up attack from ghost and that's going to remove 50 percent turn meter or speed bar from strife which is a big deal so yeah, there we go. And yeah, there you go. So now Strife has almost no speed bar on him. So now we can start going after Mr. Sinister. Don't have to worry about signing him, but just use that special because it's going to hit multiple times against Sinister. Get rid of those deflects. If he didn't have the boost on him, probably could worry about something else. But yeah, just want to get rid of those deflects on him. And then we're just going to start hammering Mr. Sinister. So, uh, so Yellow Jack is going to use his health steal there. Pretty much he'll pack up to full because that's how squishy he is. And then we're going to get speed, or sorry, we're going to try to ability block, and that does not work, which is unfortunate, but we're still going to be able to take out Mr. Sinister before he uses that healing ability, 
which is fine. But yeah, so if you can try to speed down or control Mr. Sinister, that's a big deal. It's very helpful. Then, uh, yeah, we're going to use the health steal here with Ghost, get some more health back on the Pimtech characters, and we're still just going straight after Mr. Sinister. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Got some more, uh, got some more stuff on, uh, or got some more damage in on, Mis on Mr. Sinister. He's down to like 5% health at this point. But now Strife has his heal, or now Strife has his taunt back up. And this is where you want to get like the skirmisher with the assistant with Yellow Jacket and Ant Man against him and hope you can get rid of Taunt. If you don't get rid of Taunt, it's okay. Um, we're gonna, he's gonna go off here a second, anyways, with his ultimate to the ability block. Plenty of defense up and evade up, so no one really had to worry about that. Taunt is gone, and now you just finish off Mr. Sinister. So, yeah, it's actually not that bad. And the beautiful thing is, you'll see here in a second, yeah, 121k on that hit. Uh, I said yesterday, Yellow Jacket's a killer, and oof. Yeah, the, he, he's nasty. Remember, Emeralders get bonus armor and defense when they are on defense in uh, in Alliance War. So still 121k non-crit with that ultimate on Mr. Sinister. Yeah, you can see him screaming. He's kind of screaming in pain there because, man, he just got wrecked. So he's going to, so Yellow Jacket kills, he's going to repeat the attack. Get rid of Wasp and gave offense up to the Pym Tech team, which is huge. That's gonna be very helpful. And then we get the ultimate off with stature here. Pym Particle Punch, get more, uh, I love that name. Get more ability energy on the entire team. And now you just kind of work your way through. You could be going after, uh, yeah, there you go. So you go after Emma here, get rid of her. And then at this point, it's just kind of cleaning up. There you go, Strife's done. Remember that offense up now with the assists and everything very very helpful so uh yeah it it works beautifully i'm very impressed with this um i was i was not expecting this honestly i was expecting this to be like good in blitz i did not see this happening with alliance war where it just like crushes the team in alliance war this is about a 20 30k punch up without the room buffs added in so yeah, I mean, I have to say, I'm very, very impressed in this team. I was not expecting this. Again, I do have to mention, this was a weaker Strife, so the question is going to be, will a Tier 14 Strife change that? I can't, I don't know if you can see. You can see his red stars here, so 5, 6 on Strife, and it looks like 6 red on Mr. Sinister, 4, 4 on Emma. So, honestly, I don't know if a stronger strife is going to make this harder to deal with or if it's going to make it impossible don't know yet we will see how that works out but for the moment uh this will punch up against emma and i'm impressed i think uh, i think this is going to add some value to pimtech and actually make them a worthwhile team um but uh yeah sorry if i'm a little quiet it's like six o'clock in the morning i want to wake anybody up but yeah he said uh, dunamax sent this to me last night i was like yo you gotta check this out and I was like, oh my gosh, but I was asleep at that point. So I woke up, saw this, and I was like, oh, I've got to do a video on this. So, um, yeah, guys, this uh, this definitely looks like it's adding some value to Pimtech. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this? Does this make it more valuable for you? Are you guys now going to consider going for Pimtech? Let me know it down below. But as always, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And be sure to thank Dunamax for the footage down in the comments as well. But as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.